under rent free accommodation anything given as an asset like furniture or refrigerator tv washing machine anything is given to your employee by employer so that 10% of the cost should be taxable whatever gift collected on occasion of marriage it is exempted any professional tax or employment tax paid by employee has to be deducted hello everyone this is your other sir lecture in vidyashram first grade college the temple of excellence so we are in the session 9 as well as last session of your topic called income from salary so we left out with one problem that is very important so we are discussing in today's session now so under income tax we are doing income from salary so what will be your today's agenda the agenda is very simple first we'll go with problem then along with problem we'll fill the concept sheet also so this will be your problem number 12 we done with almost 14 problems the after 11th the 12th problem was not taken now the 12th problem we will discuss in today's session now x is employed in bharatpur company limited the population of the population of the city is 7 lakh now so population why they have mentioned why because in this problem you have rent free accommodation in this problem you have rent free accommodation that's why they have given information about population now as per this the following information are available in connection with his income for the year ending 31st march 2020 if the population is 7 lakh how much you should consider yes so as per this 25 lakh and above 15% 10 lakh to 25 it is 10% 7 10 lakh and below this will be 7.5% whatever population they have given that is 7 lakh less than 10 lakh less than 10 lakh means we should consider how much 7.5% as your uh, rpf rpf has to be calculated on what on your salary now this is done salary is how much 10000 per month 10000 multiplied with 12 will be your salary part then city compensatory usually we call it as cca CC is how much? One thousand per month. One thousand into twelve will be your calculation. Next, bonus at eight percent of basic pay. Now, what is your basic pay? Again, go back. Your basic pay is around ten thousand per month. On ten thousand, it is eight percent. It comes around eight hundred. How much? Eight hundred. Now, eight hundred will be your bonus for calculation. Now, employer contribution fifteen percent. Now, normally, what is the limit we have for RPF? We have limit of twelve percent. Whatever paid excess of twelve percent, we should consider as taxable. Now, it is fifteen percent of his basic salary to recognized provident fund. X contributes an equal amount. Whatever X contributed, we are least bothered. But we want only what the contribution made by employer. Whatever contribution made by employer, that is important for us. Now, this is done. Next, a rent-free accommodation equipped with furniture has also been provided. The cost of furniture is rupees eighty thousand. Depreciable value is around sixty-four eight hundred. As I told you, under rent-free accommodation, anything given as an asset like furniture, refrigerator, TV, washing machine, anything is given to your employee by employer. So the ten percent of the cost should be taxable. Now they have given two cost. One is cost of the furniture. And WDV value of furniture. Which one you should consider? Cost or WDV value? Always remember. So almost every problem repeatedly I have told you cost of the asset. Cost. Now 
As per this, what is your cost? Your cost is 80,000. We don't want return down value. We want original cost of your asset. At what price the employer has purchased? Now, in this problem, he has purchased for 80,000. 80,000 should be considered as the cost of the asset. Now, 80,000 into 10%, you will get around 8,000. That will be your rent-free accommodation value of asset. Next, the employer company gifted him 15,000 on occasion of marriage. Normally, we did your residential status or incidence of tax. Whatever gift collected on occasion of marriage, it is exempted. Clear? But we are not doing your incidence of tax or else your residential status. For salary purpose, for salary purpose, whatever the gift collected on occasion of marriage or anything, it is fully taxable. Clear? It is fully taxable in case of salary. Now, the employer company gifted him 15,000 on his marriage anniversary during the previous year. Again, I'll repeat, this is not given on marriage. It is not given on occasion of marriage. It is only for marriage anniversary. If it is on occasion of marriage, then we have to go for income from other source. We, you don't have that particular topic for this sem. In income from other source, anything which is received on occasion of marriage, it will be exempt. Now, this is not given on marriage time. It is given anniversary of his marriage. So it is completely taxable under salary. Next. The employee has appointed a gardener and watchman. As I told you, so whatever the benefit given like watchman, sweeper, gardener, or any cook or somebody like helping him. So whatever the helping hand given to employee by employer, it is completely taxable. Now, appointed gardener, taxable, watchman, taxable. They are paid by company at rupees 1000 per month, 800 per month. 1000 into 12, 800 into 12. Completely it is taxable. Then, he is also getting an education allowance for two children at 450 per month for each. How to calculate? Now, as I told you, 450 into 12 into 2, 100 is a basic limit into 12 into 2. Whatever answer you get, minus and write your taxable answer. Or else one more step you can do, 450 minus 100, you will get 350. Into 12 into 2 is your final answer. Anything you can do, you can do both and minus and write the final answer or else you can go for the direct minus and you calculate. Anything you can do, but final answer should be as it is. Now, this is done. Next, he paid 4000 as professional tax. Remember, any professional tax or employment tax paid by employee has to be deducted. So it is a deductible claim. Now, whatever he paid 4000 towards employment tax, RS professional tax has to be deducted. Uh, along with your standard deduction of 50,000, we should consider this 4000 as deduction. Clear? Yes. Next, ascertain taxable salary of X for the assessment year 2020 and 2021. We are supposed to calculate the taxable income. In this whatever concepts we have already we have discussed. So no need of extra writing for this. But remember anything which is given on marriage anniversary it is completely taxable in the heads of salary. Clear? Yes. Now we will go for your answer. So answer is very simple. Uh, your, as per your question, what is your salary? It is 10,000 per month. 10,000 into 12. So this will be 10,000 multiplied with 12. You will get around 1,20,000. Any doubt? No. Next. City compensation allowance, it is given around 1,000 per month. 1,000 into 12, it will be 12,000. So 1000 into 12, it comes around 12,000. Any doubt up to this? No. Next. 
bonus bonus directly they have given so it is what 8% of your salary what is your salary 1,20,000 on that 8% it will come around 9,600 is your 8% of your salary clear yes then employers contribution towards RPF excess of um, excess of 12% now what is your salary? Do you have anywhere DNS allowance? No. So what will be your salary? Your salary is only 1,20,000. 1, 1,20,000. How much employer has given? I'll go back to your question. Employer has given 15%. But what is the exemption limit? 12%. Now, into 15%. Again, you have to calculate 1,20,000 into 12%. You will get around 14,400 for uh, your 12% calculation. And if you go for this, it will come around 18,000. 18,000 minus 14,400, you will get 3,600 extra. Whatever you paid extra has to be considered as taxable amount. Clear? Yes. In this 3600, we consider as taxable amount. Now, this is done. Now, this is also over. This one also over. Education allowance is not done. We'll do it now. Education allowance, as I told you, how much it is given? I'll go back. It was given around 450 per month but what is the exemption limit 100 per month now your education allowance 450 into 12 into 2 how much you will get you will get 10,800 now 450 into 12 into 2 you will get 10,800 but your exemption is how much 100 into 12 into 2 this will be 2400 your answer will be 8400 taxable 8400 taxable clear yes i have done working note there itself so that you will understand better now this is done value of employer contribution excess that is over value of rent free accommodation will come for that now for rent free accommodation, you should consider your salary, you should consider your CCA, you should consider your bonus, you should consider your education allowance. These are, we call it as allowances. Whatever the total you will get on that, you should calculate tax. Now, in this, add everything, add everything. How much you will get? 1,20 plus 12 plus 9,600 plus 8,400. All put together, you will get some amount. On that, what is the percentage? You should calculate 7.5. Why it is 7.5? Why? Because your population is less than 10 lakh. If it is less than 10 lakh, we calculate 7.5%. Now, this is done. Add 10% of cost of furniture. As I told you, they have given you two costs. One is purchase cost, other one is WDB. Which one we should consider? Always go for purchase cost. Now, 80,000 into 10%, it will be 8,000. So it will be 19,250. Up to this, any doubt? No doubt. Now, 19,250 over, add everything. Before that, cash gift on marriage anniversary, as I told you, it is completely taxable. If it is on marriage, exempt remember exempt under income from other source next salary of gardener and watchman we calculate when we write how come you got 21600 i'll show you now he has getting your education is over gardener it is 1000 per month and watchman it is 800 per month now this will be 1000 into 12 plus 800 into 12. So 1000 into 12, it will be 12,000. 800 into 12, it will be 9,600. 
Your answer is 21,600. Clear? How come you got 21,600, miss? We have added salary of watchman and salary of guide owner. Now, so this is done. Now, standard deduction, very simple, 50,000. And whatever professional tax paid, we have to calculate for total, it is 54. Your answer is 1,55,450. Any doubt up to this? Hopefully, no doubt. Is there any working note? No, nothing. So, this is all about your this problem. I'll go back, I'll show you all the slides. You can take a screenshot. This will be your problem. Continuation of your problem. This is your solution part. Second part of your solution and your taxable salary is 1,55,450. Now, problem number 15, last problem for your salary topic, but remember this I am not going to do, you are supposed to do. Now, whatever we did now, problem number 11 or problem number 12, just now we completed, exactly similar problem I have given for your homework. Now, you work out this problem. Your problem number 12, exactly same I have given your homework. You work out this problem, exactly the similar problem I have given you for homework. The amounts are changed, the few adjustments are changed. Now, your work is very simple. You should work out and send me answer in the comment box. That is compulsory. If you send me the final taxable value means like, this will be your final answer, taxable salary. If you send me the correct answer, so we'll see who will send first. The correct answer you have to send me for this. If I get reply from minimum 10 or 15 students, I'll send you correct answer in the comment box. Again, I am repeating. Now, very simple. This will be your homework. You should work out at home. Once you're done with your calculation or working out, you send me the final taxable value answer. Now, after getting 10 or 15 comments, I'll give you the right answer because in the beginning only after one comment, if I send you the answer correct, then everybody will send the same answer copy paste. That's why I need minimum 10 to 15 members has to answer in the comment box. Once you're done with 10 or 15 members, I'll send you proper answer how much you will get. So before that, I'll explain you, you can take a screenshot now. X is employed in all oil company limited. Population in a city is 20 lakh. Simple. 20 lakh means what percentage you should take? Above 10 lakh, below 25 lakh means you should consider 10%. Remember, RPF calculation 10%. Then salary easy, city compensation easy, bonus easy, employer contribution 14% means 14 minus 12. 2% extra. Now, next, a rent free accommodation is provided. 1 lakh is the cost, and depreciable value is around 70,000. We should consider 1 lakh or 70. We should consider only 1 lakh. We are not supposed to consider 70,000. Now, I'll give you a chance to take screenshot. First, you will understand. The employee of company gifted 20,000 on his marriage. You know that we should take this. The employee has appointed gardener taxable, watchman taxable. 2,000 into 12, 1,000 into 12. He is getting an education allowances. You know that 250 minus 100, only 150 into 12 into two children. Nice. He paid 2,400 at the end, you have to take, you have to minus. As I doing taxable salary, easy or very easy? Very easy. I'll show you, you can take a screenshot. Problem number 15. Continuation of your problem number 15. Hope I'll guess everybody will send me the answer. I said only 10 or 15. I expect more than 25. I'll hope you will fulfill that. Thank you.